Yeah, I'll react to that, sure. Original <laughs> Let's just go, okay? Original link to the video, top of the description. Uh, Sean Locke Christmas Moments. What are you talking about? That's the name of our first round. Jimmy. We've teamed up with a leading polling organization and they've asked the British nation what are their favorite things about Christmas Day. It's our panelist's job to guess the British public's top five things about Christmas Day. Let me just say this. I think presents should be done away with, all right? And the thing is, I, I don't like receiving or giving presents, okay? I, call me a Grinch. I don't care. When you're a kid, it's a magical time, okay? But as soon as, like, you have to buy presents for other adults, then... Am I weird here? Sorry. Sorry. I didn't mean to set a negative tone. Sean begins Jack D. Presents for everyone. I love you guys. What are your favorite things about Christmas Day? Well, first, Jimmy, I'd just like to say a very Merry Christmas <laughs> to you, Jimmy. <laughs> You have a wonderful seasonal period. <laughs> Filled with joy and good tidings. And that Santa brings you everything you want. Yeah. Here, <laughs> here. Yeah. Here, here. So I guess how you'll be spending Christmas. He gets visited by three ghosts. Yeah. <laughs> Christmas, yeah. <laughs> bah, <humbug. laughs> By the way, Christmas Carol, eh, sorry, a Christmas Carol, Charles Dickens. So much joy that is that has brought me. I I've gone to a few of the plays when I was younger. My uncle would work as like a production designer in Providence for that play, and including others, I'd I guess for sure. And uh, I I love all the Christmas Carol movies. Muppet Christmas Carol. Um, the Jim Carrey animated Christmas Carol, even though it's sort of, uh, what's it called when it's almost so real that it's kind of creepy. Uh, and also the Michael Caine, uh, one. Anyways. So, what have you got planned? Well, what do you like about Christmas Day? Uh, where do I start? <laughs> what about you, Jack? <laughs> Busy time of year for me, you know, because there's so much more joy to kill. <laughs> Let's brothers. ask uh, Chris Biggins. I love Christmas. <laughs> it's the only time you work, isn't it? Mr. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas, yeah. really, you are, aren't you? I, I, What's I your favourite bit of Christmas Day? I love it all, but I love I it, when I because I do. You're right. I do pantomime at the end of the year, and I'm at the Wolverhampton Grand Theatre doing Aladdin. Yeah. Seats at all prices, and uh, <laughs> it's a, it's a great time. But because I'm so busy, I do all my Christmas shopping all through the year. I have a I have a Christmas <laughs> cupboard. I know this is going to upset you. And in this cupboard, I... I as long as I'm not in it. No, 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 no. you came out years ago, didn't you? <laughs> oh, but I'm pretty much the least camp man on television. <laughs> presents, Christmas presents. People like Christmas presents, what, what are you hoping for? Well, well, Santa I was quite disappointed. Sorry. What was I going to say? <clears throat> are they brothers? Their profiles are very similar. <laughs> Profile is the side of the I'm head. I'm pretty much right? the least camp man on television. <laughs> Presents, Christmas presents. People like Christmas presents. What, what are you hoping for? Well, I was quite disappointed last year because my family uh, got me uh, psychiatric gift vouchers. They all clubbed together. <laughs> I, what I do in most scenarios when I get given a present, the first thing I always say, it's a little tip of advice for you, very good. So open whatever it is, just open it, just look at it and goes, and you just go, this isn't my main present, is it? <laughs> this is just some little bauble to go along with the main present, isn't it? <laughs> are you sure you're not gay? Because you said bauble. Yeah. <laughs> it's very gay, Bobble. Really? <laughs> you're desperate to recruit new members, aren't you? <laughs> he said, Bobble, you're gay. <laughs> of course they're recruiting. They can't make their own, can they? <laughs> I was disappointed because I'd asked for a crossbow. <laughs> but uh, on a lighter note, I like something decent. I, I've got a rule in my house. If I don't like what I, I'm given, I turn off the central heating. <laughs> It's a little bit of pressure on the family, but it's a good compromise from the old method, which was the trapdoor. <laughs> Before someone gave me a present, they had to stand on a trapdoor. <laughs> Wait for and, me to open know, it. If they didn't like it... <laughs> it's a proper game show, and then yeah. you've got manure under their door, and then they're drowning in a manure, and then you say, not good enough. Yeah. <laughs> 
classic German. <laughs> he put a German psych psycho psychotic German twist on it. Sean, a couple of weeks ago, you mentioned onesies on the show, and you didn't have a onesie because you couldn't decide what animal best sort of summed you up. Yeah. So we got you this. I think I've nailed it. Thanks for ruining the surprise. <laughs> Oh, carrot? <laughs> so let's see what uh, animal <laughs> I could possibly be. Pop him on. That is amazing. Lion, a fox. Oh. You're going to get killed by real. the. There's a clue. You're a oh. female kangaroo show. <laughs> For the males? <laughs> all pouch. the presents are very well wrapped. Well, it took me all afternoon. I thought so. <laughs> I, get... I just want to say the word onesie. It, it straddles this awkward line of sounding like a very childish, playful term for, like, pajamas and a sort of the other side of a, an adult kink. And so I don't like the word onesie. It's like, is that a sex thing or is it, like, a really innocent, playful thing? It, a real pleasure out of ripping it apart at the site so you can get it into the recycling. It doesn't take up quite as much <laughs> Practical German. Yeah. It's incredible what difference a onesie makes, isn't it? <laughs> I think it's really softened you. It's very good for robberies, isn't it? <laughs> hey, you look a right plonker. Yeah. <laughs> Even has his own fanny pack. <laughs> Wait, he's okay. Yeah, I think. <laughs> I'm wearing I'm wearing the low cloud fit. <laughs> Continent here. Oh, <laughs> if you had to get something from the fridge at home, you're wearing that relaxing on Christmas Day. Oh my God, that's actually perfect. Was that intentional? You presumably you would hop. I would say, what you want me to hop with it? Well, <laughs> in an ideal world, that would be my best thing ever. Please hop. I just think it'd be funny. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I think. I just think it'd be funny. In an ideal world, that would be my best thing ever. Please hop. She cut the line at the Queen's death, didn't she? Never forgive you. Up. I just think it'd be funny. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I think you got the wrong animal. Okay, I'm sorry. If you, I'm not saying she did or didn't cut the line, but it, like, it says so much about your person. Even if you're like offered a, a spot and like everyone in line is like, yeah, take it, and you and you take it. Even then, it's like, really, you're, you're gonna do that? Are you sure? let alone whatever way they did that. I said this before. It could be... It could be David Beckham. I would be like, get the hell to the back of the line. Get the, It could be Prince Will... Uh, it's his own grandma, actually, so... I guess I'd allow him. Get to the back of the line. I think I've proved my point. It's impossible to find an animal which I am comfortable inhabiting. <laughs> Because <laughs> tortoises look a little grumpy sometimes. Butter, butter, wine, tortoise. We think a tortoise would be really good for you. What tortoise-like qualities do I possess? Your mouth's a tortoise shape. You like, if you make a, a salad, I bet you look like a tortoise. <laughs> <laughs> well, I feel like I've been compromised in my bedroom and everyone's seen me take off my pyjamas. <laughs> right, real chill, then. <laughs> I actually felt vulnerable for a second. <laughs> I think you should show that vulnerability. I think it's adorable. <laughs> Shit presents, Jimmy. <laughs> well, you've ruined Christmas. <laughs> Let's have a look and see if Christmas presents are up there. <laughs> yes, of course. Christmas presents. It's the worst part of Christmas. The best part if you're a kid, but the worst part, in my opinion, because, like, it's... Uh, here comes Mr. Scrooge, me. In my opinion, every action is a selfish one. Don't kill me. <laughs> but, like, do you get someone a present because you 100% want them to have a present? Or that you 100% want them to have a present because you feel better? Like, if a baby is crying in the other room and you go and take care of it, is that a selfless action or 
Would it be harder for you not to take care of it? Keep the philosophers busy. I'm sorry. I spent Christmas with my friends. I don't know what I'm applauding for, but I feel like I should. Christmas presents. Once, um, I spent Christmas with my friend about two years ago, which was the greatest get off ever because none of my family were there. Like, <laughs> excellent. Like, what we had for dinner was a goose with a, like a, a duck inside a goose, and inside the duck was a chicken. How and did inside they die? The chicken... <laughs> what were they doing? Pilot, yeah, like, what are they doing? They're all waddling, they're all waddling through the village, <laughs> and then one hit something, they went, <laughs> and the other one, boom, 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 boom. The Russian <laughs> dollar piece. It's when you, when you do, when you do the, the chicken inside the turkey, inside the goose, but inside the chicken you put an octopus. <laughs> I don't think the um, Christmas dinner's all that, to you be know? honest. No, no, I think it's a jumped-up Sunday lunch. I just think it's a bit full of itself. Ooh. You know what I mean? What I always think the Christmas dinner is what we have. And obviously all around... Well, I'd say that's true. ...around the world, they have different mm. different ones. In, in Jamaica, they have, like, a curried goat on Christmas Day. No! Um, ch they do... Ch no, they have turkey. No, no. Turkey. No! 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 no. 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 Ah. In the Czech Republic, no. they have... They have fried carp. Fried carp, right? And, and like, where I live, um, Greg's do a festive slice. <laughs> On a serious note, you know, it's, it is a very nice thing to do if you can, is to, is to take a stranger into your house and give them lunch. Obviously, it's risky that you could have just end up with some alcoholic dribbling at the table. But they, they turned That's out to be a lovely family, and I had a very nice day. So. <laughs> I was going to make fun of that, but it sounds exactly like me. I'll give you a little bit of advice if you are cooking at Christmas. There's a book called yeah. Delia's Christmas, which is very good for nearly all parts of the Christmas dinner. It's, very, it's excellent, but... If you follow a recipe for Christmas pudding and you stir it the wrong way, I summoned up the devil. <laughs> so... <laughs> I'm just warning you, be careful. <laughs> Let's have a look and see whether Christmas dinner is one of the things you like most about Christmas Day. <laughs> Let's have a look at my favourite this morning Christmas moment. I don't... <laughs> oh, I thought presence was number one. What's number one then? If they do some corny answer like family. I'm going to be upset. Number one better be... Christmas movies. Let's have a look at my favourite this morning Christmas moment. I know it's a really mad thing to say, but I don't think I realise that turkeys had testicles. OK. Or yeah. where they put them oh. at Christmas when you get your where turkey. Where they put them at Christmas? <laughs> where does a turkey put its testicles at Christmas? <laughs> it sounds like a joke. <laughs> What's the punchline? It's such a sack. <laughs> Turkey set. So late? No fun allowed. Live at ten in the morning. Why are they clapping? He's deadly serious. I'm being such a freaking idiot. Sorry, guys. I'm being annoying. I'm annoying myself. So where do those bits this go? It's a sort of consumer point you're making. You feel like you're missing out. <laughs> they go in the gravy. They go in the gravy. No, you never get them. What? The balls. They don't have balls, they're all female turkeys. Are they? Yeah. How does a turkey make another turkey? Oh, turkeys well, men! The chickens lay eggs without having sex, they just lay eggs. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You want to watch a bit more BBC Four? <laughs> Hang on, with chickens, there's yeah. a cock that has to fertilise the egg. No. With chickens, I think that's with all mammals. Hang on, with chickens, there's yeah. a cock that has to fertilize the egg. A male chicken, but also everyone. No. Yes! Turkeys are all female, peacocks are all male. Because <laughs> you got the pea hen. No, you don't. You do. It's <laughs> no, that's what people tell you because they don't want you to know the truth. Because <laughs> you can't handle the truth, darling. <laughs> Sean, I think she might be ready for the truth. I'll tell you the truth. Okay. Turkey testicle. You know chicken nuggets from McDonald's? <laughs> <laughs> Back to Christmas TV and away from turkey testicles. <laughs> OK, Sean's team, what else do you like about Christmas Day? Obviously going to church. Yeah. Church? Go to <laughs> course. Go to church on Christmas morning. Do you go to church on Christmas morning? Well, well I have to. I'm vicar. <laughs> 
say we get carol singers? Yeah. We, uh, so if you get carol singers and they're not very good, because oh, they're, yeah. they're, they're not that good these days, are they? They come to the doors, a couple of them, hoping to get a few quid out of you. And I, I like to treat, uh, treat it as a staring competition. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and they sort of stagger to the end of the first, so that's all the, the only bit they know. And they, and they carry on. <laughs> Just do that until one of them cries. My dad used to make me and my sister go and sing Christmas carols at an old people's home. And there was a woman that we'd sing to. What who is had this the fringe, love? Biggest beard I've ever seen on man or woman. <laughs> Just sort of be trying to sing, but you just get transfixed in a sort of like, that could be Santa. <laughs> that could be her. My favourite carol is, uh, uh, is uh, the traditional, very old traditional one. Here it is, Merry Christmas. <laughs> there. I think they sang that yeah. at the manger. <laughs> Everybody's having fun. I think Jesus in the crib went up. Look. <laughs> Let's have a look and see whether going to church is one of the things you like most about Christmas. Right. Oh, that's good. That's good. What is number one? Fifth on the list with 4% of the vote is going to church. And what's yeah. interesting about Christmas carols is they stopped <laughs> writing them about 130 years ago. It's just went, that's up, we've got enough. And I think that happened with Christmas pop songs as well. <laughs> the point in the sort of early 80s when around, <laughs> we don't need any more. We don't need any more, we've got enough. Stille Nacht, Heilige Nacht. OK, easy there, Matt. <laughs> Alles schlecht. Just, just stop for a second. I want you to imagine a trench about there. <laughs> oh, oh, my God, God. it's you... like holding in a sneeze. I hate it. When I hear Jimmy Carr's, ha, 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 and he doesn't do the, ha, it's like a... Refer to it, obviously, Christmas truce during World War I, when the British soldiers were singing the English version, the German soldiers were singing the correct version, and, uh, <laughs> so, and that was that feel of peace and, and, and community and, and shared experience, that, and that is what only Christmas carols give you. Yeah, but who won the football match? <laughs> they football, didn't they? I think football was the winner. Yeah. <laughs> Fingers on buzzers, one more thing still to get. What, what do you think? They like television, don't they, Jimmy? They like watching the television shows that are specially laid on. <laughs> uh, same ones every year. It seems yes. like we have a lot of repeats. The only TV show that doesn't get repeated is Top of the Pops, and that's only for legal reasons. <laughs> Everything the same, the same, the Queen's speech. I mean, Christ, when she's going to go, at least we can have a different speech from someone else. <laughs> Stuff on, you know, on, on at Christmas. Oh, well, maybe one good thing. All right, all right. Uh, the, this morning, you do a lot of items about Christmas. We do, yes. Right. We teach you how to make the perfect Christmas turkey. Everyone needs to know that. To yeah. make one. Well, yeah, but it's the head chef at Aldi does them, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Biggins. What I find puzzling is the m and We didn't get to see the number one and four answer. This one with Pen and the Bottom Carter. Oh, if, yeah. If you want to shift... Oh, wait, no, we still can. Show me. I'm going to be very upset. I have to pee quick. All right, sorry, let's continue, guys. The Christmas ad I find puzzling is the M&S one with Pen and the Bottom Carter. Oh, if, yeah. If you want to shift clothes, you don't get her on. <laughs> she looks like she's been fly-tipped in a charity shop doorway, <laughs> doesn't she? <laughs> Pen and the Bottom Carter? It, that's Bellatrix, right? And see if it's up there. Yes, Christmas TV. Okay, so why did I see a list before where Look one wasn't up filled there. out? Christmas presents, New Year's Eve, Christmas TV. Like, swap those. Yes, Christmas TV. Has anyone here had a neighbour who puts all those inflatable reindeers and lights all over the house? And yeah. you know, I, was, I, I used to live next door to someone who did that, and they like like 150,000 bulbs. Every, you're always it's the beginning of December, and you always come out. Ah, oh, it's for kids. The kids? No, it's not. It's for you, you idiot. You like doing it. Don't you? <laughs> I don't have. I don't have those. You know those flashing lights. I don't have those because I don't think they're annoying enough. <laughs> is I have a light, really bright one, it flashes about every 15 minutes like a lighthouse. <laughs> and 
It just basically wipes out the whole street. <laughs> so people are just settling down like that. And just, <laughs> I do like driving past these places where they go all out. What happened? Yeah, you like it. Oh, thank God. Um, but I, I guess it could be annoying maybe if you live next to one. Those, you know those flashing lights? I don't have those because I don't think they're annoying enough. <laughs> what I have is I have a light, really bright one. It flashes about oh, every 50. <laughs> so people are just settling down like that. And, just <laughs> <laughs> and it's Santa doing this. <laughs> Some people say the most stressful thing about Christmas is deciding which side of the family to spend the day with. I'm lucky, really, because I'm an orphan. I mean, I wasn't until last Christmas. But they just pushed me a little bit too far. We would do just... My mom's side for Christmas Eve and my dad's side on Christmas Day. We would always do it that way. I see my family at Christmas. Hardly any of them, because uh, they're always working, because they're all dwarves. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> stop pausing. Bring me the medal. <laughs> all the games are not really designed like that. You know, you've got the old board games, but charades, you know, you play charades back in the day and that. And these days, you can't really... I mean, you try and watch your nan playing Wii Boxing, you know what I mean? So, like, <laughs> Sweating her ass off. <laughs> I think I think Nintendo Nintendo ought to come out with a Wii knitting program <laughs> so that old people can just pretend they're knitting and not actually make anything. <laughs> and they can just email you the bloody jumper and you can say thanks so much and delete it and not have to wear it down the pub. You know, I my new resolution is be more chivalrous to feminists. <laughs> I do like it. I don't. don't hold the door open for me. Let, let me let me carry those dumbbells. <laughs> Chivalrous just means good, just being polite. Most feminists like manners. people to be polite. It's good manners. No, they don't like it. Is it? It's just they if you hate us, don't they? Don't hate men. They just you don't hate men. Though. Saying you're not, you're a feminist. I'm not. That's like, you're, saying you're not a feminist is like saying you're I not do. not do. a racist. How do you call me a feminist? Of course you're a feminist. <laughs> Never, I don't ever touch one. <laughs> you have to be a feminist. Oh, why? What have I done? Because you believe in equal rights for women. What? <laughs> Alternatively, you could stop shouting easy life at airport firemen. No, you see. For the jokes that I don't get. At least I have Jimmy Carr's laugh, but come on, that's like the third one in a row. You think, you only have about one fire every ten years. <laughs> what a job that is. <laughs> they should make them do something else. They should make them do something else. They what? can't even repair cars, can they? Because you can't get on with a car into the airfield. I've never seen a fireman repair cars. <laughs> they don't do that in public. They obviously do that uh, in their hangar. See <laughs> <laughs> that little <laughs> about? Fireman group. <laughs> Does it have a different meaning in German? Feels like Christmas now. <laughs> People just talking <laughs> shite. You're telling, me, you're telling me you didn't know about fireman repairing cars. I've not had a, a nice New Year's Eve like that. I don't really enjoy New Year's Eve that much. I find it quite. A lot of I'm single as well, and it's quite. They're kissing at you know midnight and stuff. I have to go and run and hide somewhere so I don't. Otherwise, it looks like you're like looking. You know. That's maybe the wrong expression to use. <laughs> Jewish tailor. <laughs> no, <that's not. laughs> you know what I've always wanted to do? I wanted, always wanted to start using wishing wells for good rather than evil. <laughs> <laughs> Sean, it's, why don't you wish something good? And I think this year, when I use a wishing well, I wish for something good, but I always wish for bad things. <laughs> the power. The power. And it's hard to resist. And then every time I flick it over, I go, wish something good. And then the last minute, as the coin's flying through the air before it hits the water, I go, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Orphanage fire or something. <laughs> OK. Yeah, he went too early, he went too early! <laughs> too okay, he went too early, he had last question. Fingers on buzzers. Is it, uh... Oh, he has last question! Is it, uh... Oh. You just said fingers on buzzers, yeah, yeah. and it was on buzzers. Be. I've, done it. I've played this game before. It's the same oh, question. Really the fastest. It's the same right. question. OK, so you go on buzzers when I say buzzers. <laughs> Not just then. Fingers on buzzers. Oh, oh yeah! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Last question! 
We've invented yeah, a new board game. Everyone wants to play say, this. Fingers on buzzers, right? What else do people do you think in the okay. Christmas time? Oh, okay, okay. Oh, oh, have you got any no, kind of your finger on the okay. buzzer? Okay. Right, right, hands on laps. Hands on laps. Okay. Yeah. Hands on there. Yeah. Okay. Oh, right. Fingers on buzzers. Let's see what else people like about Christmas Day. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't finish the question. Take, it, take a couple of deep breaths in the car. <laughs> We're all upset. <laughs> I just wanted everyone to be together, <laughs> to have a nice day. <laughs> and you're ruining it for everyone. That is classic, too. Uh, so winding me up, table. <laughs> okay, come on, what else? Uh, oh, is it I, oh, I said it! I said it! <laughs> it's it's drinking too much. <laughs> it's drinking too much, isn't it? People drink too much on Christmas Day. That's what they say. <laughs> how do you judge? How do you know when you've drunk too much? You know, the, when it's on a can of beer, remember to drink responsibly. That's just like a blur. Yeah. <laughs> it's like Sanskrit. Have you ever done that thing on Christmas morning? I do treat myself. I'm quite partial to a crunchy nut cornflake at the best of times. Oh, yeah. And I enjoy uh, that with Baileys on a Christmas morning. Oh! Oh, what a treat. <laughs> just, oh, it was... Excuse me? <gasps> Carrot in a box! Myself. I'm quite partial to a crunchy nut cornflake at the best of times. Oh, yeah. And I enjoy uh, that with Baileys on a Christmas morning. Oh. real with Baileys. Oh, what a treat. Is this... Oh, it was... Does this show still go out no, on No, telly? no, 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 no. <laughs> you can't look in yet. Oh, my God, no, Sean. You don't want to ruin it. Oh, sorry. It's an incredible game. OK. John and Sean, this is a bluffing game. John, in front of you, there is a red box. Sean, in front of you, there is a gold box. There's a carrot in one of these boxes. I know, it's exciting stuff. <laughs> the aim of the game is to end up with the carrot. It's a game of bluff. When do we do the conundrum? <laughs> Sean, stand still. Let's try and... Sean, you want a carrot? Sean, you want a carrot. But there is only one carrot. Let's play. It's a brilliant game. Shush. Stupid. <laughs> Stop ruining Christmas. Tell me. Why are you ruining Christmas? I'm not ruining Christmas. Well, you this are. Is, this is ruining Christmas. <laughs> These little face, he's excited about playing. You've got to ruin it for everyone. Yeah, I can't wait to win this carrot. <laughs> okay, let's play. Carrot in a box. <laughs> okay, Sean, you can look inside your box. John, you cannot look inside your box. Okay, you want the carrot, Sean. Uh, no, 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 don't, don't, don't put no hands in the box. You can look inside the box. Have you looked? Have you seen? Yeah. OK, you now have to convince John to swap his box if you think he has the carrot, or keep your box. It's a game of bluff. The winner is the one with the carrot. Oh, I, I'm, I'll, I'll keep this. <laughs> Guys, I've seen this. I'm almost sure, unless this is another game that they're playing, I've seen it, and it was amazing, OK? Sean is doing such a great job of just playing it off as if he doesn't want to play the game and it's just stupid to convince him, John, that it just... What do you mean, Jimmy's It's really genius. It it's my job. <laughs> is Sean bluffing? Does he have a carry in his box? <laughs> it's a real quandary for me, Jimmy, this. Yeah, he's allowed to swap yeah. if he wants no, to swap. Can't, but can't I just keep my box? <laughs> no, he can swap if he wants well, to swap. I can swap. refuse to swap it. No. <laughs> you can't make somebody swap something. They haven't swapped it. Have you never played Carry in a Box before? You never, <laughs> have you never seen the show? I must, have been I must have been on holiday that <laughs> week. It was allowed out. Do you want to keep your box or swap your box? I can keep this or I can have the box that's definitely got a carrot. <laughs> yes. I want Sean's box. <laughs> Sean's box. Sean, let go of the box. Sorry. It's the nature of the game. It's the nature of the game. 
I just say at this point, if there's no carrot in that box, you are a genius. <laughs> well, let's, let's swap boxes, swap boxes. True. Am I allowed to boxes? Swap. Am I allowed to have my box back? Is there another round where I get to have the box with the carrot in the back? <laughs> I, I'm going to level with you, fellas. We've never played this game before. <laughs> we do not know how it ends. OK, so, John, you're now allowed to look in your box. Right. And, and I believe you can reveal... Guys, I've seen this. I've seen this part. I'm just continuing to watch because of how amazing it was the first time I watched oh, it. Point it the other way. Does it contain a carrot or not? No fucking carrot. <laughs> That was good. That was good. You have to admit. I'm going to go and sit down now and think about what we've done. <laughs> what John Richardson said was right. If there's no carrot in that box, you're a genius. And it, it, the first time I watched that, I was so blown away. Guys, love you all. Hope you're all doing well. Would appreciate you liking and subscribing. And hopefully, I'll see you next video. Merry Christmas, guys. Happy holidays. Bye.